John Myers with the Orange County uh, Library System here at the West Oak Branch in Opelie, Florida. On February 22nd, 2013, capturing memories from our community. Please tell us your name and where you are from. Uh, my name is uh, Eufemia Mercado. Okay. And I'm from, I born in Argentina. Oh. And I moved here in 1969 in Chicago. Okay. Chicago, I moved to Florida uh -huh. in 1985. Uh-huh. What do you like about Central Florida? Well, it's decline, you know, it's not so cold. Right. It's a kind of hot. Yes. <laughs> but I like it. Uh, it's not like Chicago, that's for sure. Yeah, of course. Well, what kind of changes did you, what, uh, you said you got here in the, the mid-80s? 1985. 85, wow. What kind of changes have you seen since then? Oh, there's a lot of changes. Well, population, a lot more people, a lot more development? Population, uh, more development, yeah. Houses, Okay, here used to be orange, do we? Right. Most is uh, uh, right. okay. Right. But now it's houses all over. Right, yeah, there's, there's, um, there used to be a lot of, well, Orange Blossom Trail used to have orange groves on it, now there aren't any. So, so that kind of thing. So this is all orange groves, or were the roads paved and stuff? Well, I remember to drive on I-4, try to go reach, you know, uh, one Disney World. Uh -huh. It was only one car going and one car coming back. When did, when did I-4 get uh, put in the way it is oh, now? Oh, they said what after, at 85, yeah. 85. It started going to the side, you know. Uh -huh. Did, I, did, I know. Uh, did you have a family come down here with you, or? I have my daughter and my son. They would still live in Central Florida? Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's still living here. Yeah. She yeah. lives in Opaca. Opoca. Oh, yeah, I live in Pocket, yeah. My son, he lives in Maryland. Do they, they come down here and visit? Oh, yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. You go to Disney World? I went so many times, yes. <laughs> yeah. No more. Yeah, no, I don't go to it either. Um, so, have you, have you seen a lot of d development or changes, a lot of houses. Yeah. Uh, how far did you have to go like to be in the country? <laughs> country, well, if you drive in, in Highway 50 West, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. You, you have to pass Claremont. I, I don't know now because I'm not driving right. so often, but it used to be that country after Claremont. Yeah, because I know people who lived in Pine Hills, and they, they talk about sometimes the roads weren't paved, and it was, you know, you're out in the country now, everything is, I mean, when I was a kid, we drove by, uh, so have you ever been to Citrus Tower? Yeah. Okay. Claremont, uh -huh. When I was a little kid, we drove by it, and it was nothing but orange groves, and that's it. On Highway 27, who need to be rebuilt around there, because it's too, it's too much traffic. Yeah, what, what road is it? Tw Highway 27. Oh, 27. Exactly where the, the tower is. Oh, okay, that's right. And you go there and it's all, it's all paved. It's all buildings and stuff there. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's what I say, you know, after Claremont, you can keep driving. Yeah, yeah, I it's used still kind of that I way. used to go to the flea market. Uh-huh. And Western? In where? Wester. Wester? It's a, a town, a small town. I've never heard of that one. Yeah, you keep driving on Highway 50, and I don't know, it's so many town now, but yeah. I know I have to drive until Wester. It's a street, and you turn right, and a couple miles is, is a flea market. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. For sure now, it's a lot of people building. Oh, yeah. Yeah, population's really exploded. Yeah. Anything else that you can think of? I don't know, because I, I keep busy, you know, driving. Yeah. Driving is a hassle today. Yes. Yes. 
Just be very be careful. Mm. Especially colonial drive. Oh, that's really bad. I go and I have my I drop my car off to get work done and then I ride my bike, you know? Mm -hmm. And they'll kill you. <laughs> they will. Don't try a night time on the bicycle. Yeah. Well no, not at night. No. no at night. It's too dangerous. That's right, yeah. But it's too much of traffic now. And now east and west, I believe, beautiful, but you have to pay to go up. Uh, yeah. You have uh, 408, I believe. Right, you know? right, east, west. East and west. And now pay to come back uh, out, you know? Yeah, yeah. When did they put the 408 in? It's ridiculous. Um, well, it used to be east and west coming out soon after you pass Kilman Road. But now, the session is closed for so many years, extending now, I believe, connection for 429? 429, yes. Yes, hey, you know your roads. Four tw I like 429, because I can get that in Apopka mm -hmm. and take that all the way down by 27 and miss all of that Disney stuff. Yeah. All of that. I was on that yesterday and just flew, there's nobody on it, three bucks. But you have to pay to go in and yeah, out. Yeah, you got, you got to pay, it's, but. It's just ridiculous, it's too much, and you know, we pay in, in taxes. Yeah. yeah. And keep paying and paying and paying. Yeah, yeah, and well, and then the cost of gas and all that, so yeah, trails getting expensive. But I know, Florida changed really. We need a train. Ah, <laughs> sure. <laughs> This is a good idea, sure. not for myself, sure. but the people who live on Jacksonville or after Jacksonville. Uh -huh. You know, some it's an accident every day in I-4. Right. right. And right. you have to stuck there wasting your time, your gasoline. Right, right. right. Yeah, I'm just wondering, I mean, it would be great because what you could do is on the train, you can do other stuff. You know what I mean? You can work on your, you know, use your laptop, you can do stuff right. like that. It's much more efficient. Yeah, that would be good. Trouble is, is where you would park. Because you'd have to drive to... Well, it has to be special, like in Chicago. I used to drive the, the western, I believe, was it? From downtown Chicago to right. all the way north, Highland Park. Right. And it's a space. There is, you know, the section where the, the train stops, uh -huh. right? And from then it's a parking space for the people who That's drive right. the train. You cannot go and park there, That's true. but uh, you have to take the train. Yeah, yeah. I was on the L once when I was a kid, mm. and I remember just how loud it was. <laughs> yeah, I used to take the L in Chicago to go to work, um, all the way down, you know, underground, underground. Right. And from then coming up. Until I reach my section. Yeah, I remember I was a little kid sitting in the L. Where I think we're underground, holding my ears because it was just the sound of metal yeah. shrinking against metal. It it's was scary. Yeah, scary. It's a little kid. Yeah. yeah. But it's different. Up north is different from here. But Florida needs some trains. Yeah. Some relief for the people. Who drive them really? I put is the only connection. Oh, it's awful. It's awful. I don't know. But it's funny, and you look at all the roads around here, and they, um, if you look at the map, they don't seem to go anywhere. There's so many of them, and they go all over the place. And I think some of these, if you look, there's all these lakes. Too much. Of and, and you have to do a road around it because you're not going to build bridges over these. You want to talk about money. So it's it's just like somebody splashed all these roads around and they, they don't go to where you <laughs> want to go. This is 429 now. Yes, 429. Going around all London, you know. Yeah. Yeah, that's one Take thing. you know where, do. but. Yeah, I lived in Ohio and every single city had a ring of a highway around it. Mm -hmm. And they came to Orlando and they do not. So. I be trying. Okay, well, is there anything else you'd uh, like well, to add? I like it, Orlando. Uh huh. My daughter, she went to school, to Evan, Evan's high school. Okay. Who is today is a brand new school. Okay. 
you to be raggy before, <laughs> but now it's brand new. Yeah, I, I met some people who went to that, and they would always kind of laugh about. I don't know anything about it, but they, they kind of laughed at it. I'm not sure why, but it's well, you new know, now. it's it's not a school problem, you know. Uh -huh. It's the person who got there. Oh yeah. Sometimes we accuse him pain heal is like that, crying, it was calling insulting and whatever right. living pain. And it's wrong. Right. Because the house it has no problem. Yeah. The street is the people. Right. Right. No, I've been in Pine Hills a lot and I've been mm -hmm. Oh, you call it my name? All right. Okay. okay. Well thank you. Thank you very much.